Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today's April 10th, and that means day 100 of the 3DP 365 project. Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me here for day 100 of the 3DP 365 project. I know it's been a long road to 100 prints but we've made it and we've done some really awesome things in these last 100 days and let's talk about how we got there. First of all I want to talk about the 365 project in general. For those of you who don't know this isn't an original idea this was actually created by a photographer called the 365project.org and you can find that link down in the description. And what I decided to do is convert it into 3D printing, where I 3D print something new every single day, shoot a new video and post it up on YouTube. And we actually do this every single day. Our print starts the night before. We usually select what we're gonna print and let that run overnight. And in the morning, I check out the print, see what happened, see if there was any problems, and then we shoot our video and post it. So this is a true 365 project. I am creating all new content on a daily basis and posting it. And each print was either printed the night before or had run through the night. And we do this every single day throughout the year in 2017. The next thing I wanna talk about is that artist spotlight video that Joel Telling, AKA the 3D Printing Nerd released yesterday. If you're unfamiliar with Joel's channel, you really need to subscribe and I'll put that link down in the description also. And if you haven't seen the video, I'll add that link too. Joel has an ongoing series where he asks creators on YouTube to create a little bit of video and he spotlights them on his channel. And it really does give you a huge subscriber boost because Joel has almost 90,000 subscribers. So he gets a lot of eyes on his channel. So it really did help my channel out a lot. As of the recording of this video, we have almost 1300 subscribers and that's pretty awesome. And I can't thank you guys enough for coming over and checking out my channel and subscribing. And I hope you did subscribe after seeing the video too. So Joel, I wanna give you a huge high five for asking me to be part of your artist spotlight. I really appreciate it, my friend. It means a lot to me to be part of this community and I really feel welcome and my subscriber rate really shows it. And to mark day 100 in the release of that artist spotlight that really skyrocketed my channel, today we printed out the 3D Printing Nerd High Five logo from A Pyro Design. And Travis did an amazing job designing this. So first, let's head over to Thingiverse and I'll show you where to download the model. Then we'll tab over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for the print. Then we'll meet back here at the workbench and we'll talk about the print. Okay folks, so here we are at Thingiverse. Here is the 3D Printing Nerd Hi5 logo by A Pyro Design. And I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print this yourself. And this is awesome. Travis is an amazing artist and his page is here. And definitely follow him up on Thingiverse and follow him up on YouTube, and subscribe to his channel, and do all those awesome things. But back to the 3D Printing Nerd High Five logo. This is awesome. I can't say enough about how awesome Travis is at designing logos to life, and that's part of one of the different YouTube shows that he does on his channel. And for this one, he has this set up in a couple of different forms. There's one for dual extruders, there's one for single extruders, He's even included the little extruder model, so if you wanted to try and assemble your own, very similar to what he had done for Joel, and I'll show you that here. That is awesome. He did an amazing job on this, and it really does capture the spirit of the 3D printing nerd, and it's awesome. And I really have to hand it to Travis. And I really have to thank him for posting this logo up so we can print it ourselves, and we did. So let's tab over to Simplify 3D, and I'll show you my settings for the print. Okay folks, so here we are in Simplify 3D and I've dropped the model down on the print bed and we're going to print ours at 100%. You can see I have it here at 100%. And if you don't own Simplify 3D, this is really the slicing program you should be using. Yes, I know it's $149 US, but it's worth every penny when you save money on frustration and plastic wasted when the other slicers don't really do what you want. This also has customizable support, which is unique to Simplify 3D. And that's what makes it very powerful too. And one of the other things it can do is multiple processes with ease. And that's what we did on our model. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to slow the print down on this bottom section here to make sure my type turned out perfect. And then after that, we could kick the speed up and finish our print. 
I also wanted to do a lower infill amount than the top, or actually a higher infill amount, I'm sorry, than the top part to also save time in plastic. So what I did is I created two processes. And let me put a disclaimer in this right away. I have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. So I was not able to capture the hashtag parts of the Hi5 with my particular printer setup. I believe with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I would have been able to capture the hashtag parts, but I did not. So the only thing that actually printed is the Hi5. And I'll show you when we slice it, it didn't show up on the sliced part. But first, let's talk about my process settings. And the reason why I'm running two processes is because I want to do two different infill amounts. I want to do 17% for the first part, and I want it to stop printing at 16 millimeters. And that's how you set up multiple processes. You stop and start your printing at different sections. The rest of my settings are as follows. For layer height, we did a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also ran a brim by entering zero in the skirt offset at four outlines. Again, for my infill in this section, we're only running 17% and we did not generate support material. For temperature, this is Matter Hackers Pro PLA, so I have a single temperature throughout and that's 205. And my three stage cooling system setup. For speed, we're running this out at 25 millimeters per second for our first process, just to make sure we capture as much of that detail on that type as possible. But, like I said, I have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle, which can't capture the finest of detail. And I am going to purchase some uh, nozzles and try some different setups. But for now, we have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. And again, to stop printing at 16 millimeters, you select this and you put in your, your where you want it to stop. In our particular case, that's 16 millimeters. My second process will finish the model and it will start printing at 16 millimeters. The speed will kick up to 50 millimeters per second and the infill amount will go up down to 8% because we don't need that higher infill for the rest of the model. So if we hit OK and we hit prepare to print, you'll see this dialog box pop up. And what you need to do is hit select all and do continuous printing layer by layer and then hit OK and it'll process and slice. Again, a little disclaimer, I have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. So once this finishes slicing, you'll see that the hashtags disappear because I'm unable to capture that much detail with my 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Luckily, the high five part came out and it still looks cool. So if I hit play, you can see the processes that we've set up. We have our high infill amount on the bottom, four top layers, and then it'll switch over to a lower infill amount at 16 millimeters. And I can speed this up for you. And again, you can clearly see that we have lost the hashtag part of the design. So once I get a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I'll more than likely reprint this just to see if it actually does come out. And now I could change it in my slicer settings just to see, but I don't want to mess with my slicer settings. And that's not the point of this video. The point of the video is to show you what I have and what I can print with. So. My print turned out pretty awesome and I'm very happy with the results. And as you can see, this is just the standard high five model. This doesn't have the fingers that stop or you can attach the extruder on. I just wanted to have Joel's signature, signature sign off, which is the high five as a nice little model on my shelf. And our print turned out pretty awesome. So let's head over back to the workbench and let's talk about the print. All right, so you saw my settings in Simplify 3D, and here is the 3D Printing Nerd High Five logo by Travis over at Apyro Design. And I'll put some close-ups in at the end like I always do. But as I said in Simplify 3D, I have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle, so we lost the hashtag. But I'm not disappointed at all. With my 0.5 millimeter nozzle on my GMAX printer, the rest of the detail turned out awesome. This really looks good. And I really love this Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of pearl blue. It looks awesome on our 3D Printing Nerd logo, and I'm super happy with the results. And once I get a smaller nozzle, I'll definitely be reprinting this so those little hashtags will show up. But like I said, I'm not disappointed at all. I saw it coming when I was in Simplify 3D. I knew they weren't going to print, and I printed it anyway because this really is the essence of Joel Telling and the 3D Printing Nerd and his channel. His signature sign-off, the high five. The next thing I want to talk about is the models you see behind me. And I created those especially for the Artist Spotlight series for the 3D Printing Nerd. And once I have them perfected, I will post them up on Thingiverse. I want to make sure that everybody has uh, an ability to print these without a problem. 
and I did make sure that I only went up to 250 millimeters in height because I know some printers can actually achieve that height. Of course, you could reduce the model and print it at any size you want, but I am going to release a vase mode version and a solid version, and I have some other new models that I'm going to be releasing soon too, in the same vein as the twisted gear vase. So stay tuned. I'll tweet out on social media and I'll let everybody know once those models are available to print. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to all my followers and supporters here on YouTube and up on social media. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining me here on the Print 3D channel. I really appreciate you coming over and subscribing after watching the Artist Spotlight video. That means a lot to me. To those of you who have been following since the beginning, thank you guys for supporting the channel and constantly commenting on those videos and liking and sharing them. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I'm very appreciative of all the support that I've gotten through the last 24 hours since my channel exploded after the Artist Spotlight video came out. I feel very welcome in this 3D printing community and it feels really good to know that you guys appreciate the work I'm doing and you are a fan. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos and I'll see you tomorrow.